Hello everyone. In a significant development for the Boston Celtics, Kristaps Porzingis was ruled out of Game 3 of the NBA Finals on Wednesday night due to a rare tendon injury in his lower left leg. The injury was sustained in Game 2 against the Dallas Mavericks. The Celtics announced Porzingis' absence just two hours before the game, but head coach Joe Mazzulla hinted at the possibility of Porzingis returning for Game 4. The medical team and staff decided it wasn't best for him to play tonight, Mazzulla said. It'll be a day-to-day -day thing, and we'll see how he is tomorrow and the next day. Porzingis, who had missed 10 consecutive playoff games due to a right calf strain before returning for the NBA Finals, played a crucial role in helping the Celtics secure a 2-0 series lead. In Game 1 he scored 11 points and made two blocks in the first quarter alone. However, after bumping knees with Mavericks center Derek Lively II in Game 2, Porzingis left the game in the final minute of the third quarter and played only briefly in the fourth. The 7'2 Latvian is dealing with a tear in the tissue that holds tendons in place, an injury unrelated to his previous calf strain. Despite the setback, Porzingis has been undergoing constant treatment and has remained committed to his recovery. Al Horford, who turned 38 last week, stepped in as the starting center for Game 3. Horford quickly made his presence felt by scoring the first five points for the Celtics, including a three-pointer. Before the game, Porzingis expressed his frustration but also his commitment to following the medical staff's advice. I'm doing everything the medical staff tells me, I want to play but I can't trick them into allowing me to play, Porzingis said. Coach Mazzulla praised Porzingis's dedication, stating, Throughout the whole playoffs, he's never missed any meeting and he's always done everything he can to play. Sometimes it's an unfortunate situation, it's nothing that he can do. With Porzingis out, he still hasn't played a game in Dallas since being traded by the Mavericks over two years ago. The former fourth overall pick by the New York Knicks has had a journey through several teams, including a notable trade to Dallas and later to Washington before joining Boston last summer. As the Celtics look to secure their record-setting 18th championship, the status of Kristaps Porzingis remains a crucial storyline. We will keep you updated on his condition and other developments in the NBA Finals. Stay tuned for the latest updates.